Traditionally, regular IV chemotherapy, you would, it would knock down people's blood counts. Okay, so in fact, patients would get what they call cycles. So you would get a treatment of these IV cocktails together once a month because it took time. Your blood counts would get knocked down. It would take time for your bone marrow to recover so, so you could get your next cycle. These new oral agents are very different. The first thing that happens with these oral agents is the lymph nodes and the, or if you have organ involvement, your spleen or liver, they shrink quite dramatically. And so there's, there's a transition of those lymphocytes that go from the organs or the lymph nodes out into the bloodstream. And so when you start these oral therapies, it's a little bit, it, it, when, we, uh, when the first clinical trials were running several years ago, it scared many of us who were on these trials because the, um, the white count would actually go up. And everybody would go, oh my God, these patients are progressing. You know, their white count, they'd have this artificial lymphocytosis. I mean, it wasn't artificial, it was real because their lymph nodes were shrinking. And so you'd have a sink, you know, into, you know, into the plasma. Um, but the lymph nodes were shrinking beautifully in a matter of weeks. And then, so your white count would go up and then slowly their lymphocytosis would come down. So over time, their lymphocytosis would resolve and get better. Okay, so this was, you know, once we, everybody figured that out, this was not patients were not progressing. They were just, you know, they were just responding naturally. And this is how these kinase inhibitors work. It's unique to this class of agents. People stop panicking. And over time, usually in a matter of, usually months. So that's the other thing that I'm getting, you know, a lot of phone calls. The physicians have to realize this could take months for their white count to go down. It doesn't mean that they're progressing. It's okay. So the, the white count usually comes down and slowly improves over time, but that could be their white count can still be elevated for a year or more. Um, so you still know they have their leukemia, but they're still responding beautifully. So that's a different, you know, a nuance about these agents that the physicians who prescribe them have to look out for, that it's okay, it's perfectly normal to expect that they're gonna get this compensatory lymphocytosis as their lymph nodes shrink and their organs, organ involvement improves as well. And their, uh, their blood counts start improving, it just takes time for the white count to come down.